Hey guys, I really been wanting to put this out for a couple days now, but uh, I've been under this major attack. The last time I was under attack like this is when I convinced or shared with some friends that had taken the abomination to repent for taking the abomination. And the second that they repented, I was under actual physical attack. And that same thing happened when I started looking into this study, which I'm going to share with you right now. So I've actually wanted to put this out a couple days ago, but I, the cool thing is I, I kind of came across more stuff. So on November 8th, November 8th of this year, 2023, the 50 in five was basically executed, which is the first 50 countries to go fully digital. And I ask you to please go take a look at that. I made a video just prior to this one. Now, 1,335 days before that took place. Did you hear what I said? 1,335 days. It was March 13th, which is Friday the 13th, by the way. 2020, the President of the United States declared a national emergency concerning the Novell C O R O N A V I R U S disease outbreak. Did you hear what I said? 1335 days before the 50 in 5, which is, I believe, the domination phase of the mark of the beast. 1335 days before November 8th, it was March 13th, 2020. The president declared a national emergency of the Novell, you know what I just said, virus. I don't know if you knew this, but this is just for added information. Novell actually means fictitious or false or fake counterfeit, fabricated, a sham, bogus, fictional, imaginary, made up, make believe. It's even devised as a plan. So just so you know. So during this time, we do know we're at the end. And so because of that 1335 days stood out, I started doing another deep dive into Daniel chapter 12, which Daniel chapter 12 parallels the days literally right before the start of the tribulation and then right at the tribulation beginning. And so I'm just going to break down a couple quick things. So in Daniel, and I'm just going to paraphrase a few things just for uh, time's sake. So in Daniel, uh, most translations are terrible these days. I actually did a study in the original Hebrew language. And, you know, basically it says, um, at the time of the end. So when you actually look in the original Hebrew, it's in the era, in the era of the she, which is in direct reference to, I believe, mystery Babylon because when you do a correlating study between that and also all of Revelation 6 sorry about that and then Revelation 13 to 14 they're speaking of the same event they're speaking of the same timeline so the she which is not even in most modern translations. So in the era of the she, Michael will stand up. So we do know that Michael's going to stand up and do battle with Satan, and Satan's going to lose and be cast down to earth. And so when Satan gets cast down to earth, he's going to try to intercept the man-child, and then... The woman is going to flee into the wilderness, and so the devil is going to pursue the woman into the wilderness, and you can go and do a study on that. 
Well, the she is actually E-I-A. So that in, in the time of the she or the time of the E-I-A, E-I-A, when you do a study, is actually an enzyme monosorbet assay. And this is actually to test for S-A-R-S-C-O-V-2. Do you hear what I'm saying? Before Michael stands up in the time of the she, which is Mystery Babylon, she is actually in in the Hebrew, Siaya. Siaya. C-I-A or E-I-A is an enzyme monosorbet assay. It is a test for S-A-R-S-C-O-V-2. So the time, so what it's basically saying is in the time when they're testing for the Black Plague, Michael will stand up. And then as you know, and I'm going to break this all down a lot more. I just want to get this out there. I thought this is important. And then anytime it talks about the time of the end, end in the Hebrew is actually cutes, cutes, Q-T-Z, cutes. And that is actually... Hold on a second. And and that actually is a coal and terzine. Coal and terzine, which is Luciferin, Lucifer race. So in the era when they're testing for the black plague, the end is gonna come by the means of Lucifer race. We do know that the Black Plague, the wine that Mystery Babylon, the Whore of Babylon, pushed on the whole world has Lucifer race in it, as well as not only the name of our enemy, but also the number of our enemy when you look at the ratios. So Daniel is really being extremely specific in this study. I'm going to break this down more. And the main thing to know is to make sure your relationship with Jesus Christ is solid and you're speaking to him daily and you're helping others and you're showing the love, his love to others. And if you were wise, and again, this is, there, there's more I was going to share, but I'm going to do a whole other study in more detail about everything I'm speaking about right now. But if you were wise and did not partake in the abomination, because this is directly in correlation to the abomination, which is spoken about in Daniel, that stands up in the holy place. And so, again, I'll break that down more. If you did not partake in the abomination, very, very wise. But if you did partake in the abomination, what I just spoke about, please repent. Please repent. I just literally told you that they were telling everybody there was a sham. Remember? Go back and listen to the beginning of this video. It means fabricated, false, counterfeit, fictitious, sham, bogus, fictional, imaginary, made up, make believe. They already told everybody at the beginning of everything that it was a sham, bogus. So if you partook in what the merchants brought, repent. Please repent. Please repent. Because our body is the temple. And that wine that they pushed on everybody changes and alters the temple. That is why the flood came the first time. And that is why the wrath is going to come the second time. I hope you understand this. So please hear this message. And again, on November 8th of 2022, 
2023, the 50 and 5 went out to 50 countries, which is a fully digital portion of the Mark of the Beast, the Beast system. This is the domination phase that they're trying to push now. The people in those 50 countries cannot do anything. Everything is tied digitally. And you go back through a few of my videos where I break down what, went, what uh, a couple of the tech giants developed and how it interacts with our bodies and the nanotechnology and everything else. I, I've gone over this many, many, many times. But 1,335 days before November 8th of this year, it was March 13th, Friday the 13th of 2020, the President of the United States declared a national emergency concerning the Novell, you know what, outbreak. And again, Novell means fabricated, false, and fake. I hope you hear this message. Daniel begins to go into deep, extreme detail that during the time of Mystery Babylon, they're going to be testing for this. And also, at the what is going to what's going to happen is because of this going on, that the the end is actually Lucifer and Lucifer race. And some you could even state it as the race of Lucifer because people surrendered the, surrendered the light of Jesus Christ for the light of Lucifer. Lucifer was known as a bearer of light. He's a counterfeit. It says in the last days, the light of the candle shall shine no more in thee. And the voice of the bride and the bridegroom will be heard no more in thee. Is for by the merchants were the mighty men of the last days that will fool and deceive people with pharmakia, where we get our word pharmacy from. So Daniel even is going into even greater detail explaining this. I'll break this down some more, but I just want to get this out there. I haven't been feeling good. Again, the last time I was under physical attack like this was when I convinced and spoke with some brothers and sisters in the Lord that their whole household needs to repent for taking the mark of the beast, for taking the abomination. And when they did, instantly, I was under major physical attack. And that's what happened when I was first pulling this out of Scripture. So anyway, I hope this message finds you well. And I will uh, I'll go into more detail about this soon. But have a blessed day, guys. Please go back through my past dozen or so videos. I break down a few other items that I think that you will find very, very interesting about the last days to establish the timeline that we're in because we're at the very end of the end times. All right. Have a blessed day, guys. I love you. It's in Jesus' name. I pray. Bye-bye.